Hello there Libra and welcome to Hassani's Lightwork. Um, today what I will be doing for you today uh, for February 15, 2017 are Secrets of the Unk readings. Okay? So Secrets of the Unk readings have to deal with um, your past six months to a year ago. Okay? What you learned from the past. How your past is involved in your present your future from today for and your foundation for the whole reading okay okay Libra what I feel like excuse the music outside <laughs> um hmm well the music might actually be a sign that you had a really beautiful relationship in the past that kind of just dwindled. Okay. Um, it dwindled. Like. You were up on. You were up worried about this uh, situation. Okay. Um, worried about it. I'm feeling also on this that um, you're worried about. Maybe some of you have children. All right. Um, or a brother or sister that is a uh, Virgo because the Hermit is Virgo um, I'm feeling like some of you were worried about uh, a Virgo sibling okay very worried about a Virgo sibling who has a child alright you're worried about the child's father from some, for some reason or right, maybe the child's father is not um, um, as involved as they should be in the child's life all right, and this would show up as like your niece, nephew, etc., or just someone who you feel is not um, involved with you the way you want them to be involved with you. If that makes any sense, all right, you wanted them to be uh, more open with you, and they weren't. Um, you felt like they were hiding secrets from you, all right. So that's why you're needing to come away and make sense of who they are understand more about their character um even come into yourself and learn more about yourself and possibly even blaming yourself for uh someone leaving okay blaming yourself for someone uh turning on you i i know a lot of people do that i feel that um you're doing a lot of uh blaming and for some reason you're really needed to uh uh, defend yourself okay defend your thoughts defend your heart uh, your feelings overall okay um what you learned from the past you have the four of pentacles here the four of pentacles is all about saving money all right um i'm feeling with this maybe some of you were drinking too much all right and spending too much money alcohol in my opinion alcohol is a money guzzler okay um especially wine you're drinking a lot of wine um um grape juice juices um not enough not enough water is being uh you're not drinking enough water all right and you're holding you're just um really clenching on to the fact that you just you can't you can't deal with water for some reason all right um water is just it's hard for you to drink all right because one it has no flavor okay um water does not have a flavor if it does that's a problem all right unless it's like vitamin water or something but with the four of pentacles i feel like a lot of your money is being uh spent in um over indulgences okay um too much drinking too much partying all right so this is like penny pinching to me like you've got everything that you want all right you have everything you need but for some reason you're overdoing it okay you're overdoing it all right um how your past is involved in your present you got the three of pentacles you are getting help uh on the financial front from a family friend okay your family friends are involved with your finances all right um some of you are even um in love i'm feeling with a family friend or you're having feelings I'm feeling like some of you are having feelings for someone you're not supposed to have feelings for. Maybe because you're already in a relationship. 
But with this, it's a little weird. The energy that I feel from this is a little weird to me. Um, oh, it's very weird to me. <laughs> um, I'm feeling, yeah, you definitely, I'm just going to elaborate more. Um, this feeling could be with a sign of Gemini, but the lovers has to do with love feelings. Anything love related, all right, partnerships you are attracted to someone you're really not supposed to be attracted to okay they're either <laughs> they're either they're not healthy for you okay they're not healthy either that or they're connect oh, this is so weird they're connected to your family in some way but it's a weird attraction and that's why you're not supposed to have it all right, you're not supposed to have that kind of attraction. It's it's a little wrong. <laughs> um, in your foundation, you have the nine of wands. You were uh, defending yourself greatly. All right, um, I'm feeling like you were being blamed for something that you didn't. Do you, you feel you didn't do, um, but uh, you you also it's like you're being attacked. All right, you're also being attacked. You're trying to um, make other people understand. Okay, I understand. You're trying to make them understand that you're saying that. Okay, I I know that this happened, um, but I didn't know it was gonna turn out this way, or I didn't know that they were gonna end up uh, like that, or I didn't know that they were gonna get sick. Okay. You didn't know. You didn't do it. Part of you, I feel like, I feel like some of you are like in between worlds here with what you did to someone. All right. You're in between worlds. And why I say that is like, it's almost like doing, doing something evil, doing something mean to someone else. Okay. But at the same time, you don't want to deal, you know, you're doing something wrong. Okay. But then at the same time, you, you're you not thinking about the repercussions of doing something wrong to someone else. You're just kind of just like free-forming, all right? Um, and that's why you got people around you that they're not liking that way about you. But it's like you can't help it because that's just the way you are, all right? That's just the way you are, and it's making them upset. They're very upset with you. And it seems like you're holding on accusations are made towards you and you're holding on to a little bit of money that you have left because I'm feeling like maybe some of you someone that you know or you're being sued there's a lawsuit against you okay uh, a lawsuit all right um, and I feel like you're waiting for a lawsuit to come through it finally came through but something else is popping up where you're needing to defend yourself and literally you're gaining something that's going right back out. You're gaining something that's going right back out because of a uh, relationship that you had in your past that was causing you problems. Or at least you saw it was causing, it. you felt like the relationship was causing you problems. So you had to try to figure out some way to get the person out of the way so that you could proceed in life. Okay? You had to try to figure out how to get them out. You're not work. You weren't working with them well. Okay, they weren't really. They weren't really working to help themselves out. Okay. They weren't really working to help themselves out. All right. So I feel like um, you kind of exhausted your expenses with them. Also, all right. Expenses not only. Not only financial expenses, but also with your time and energy. All right, you didn't want to keep wasting your energy um, with something you felt like there were at the time you felt like there was no hope for. Okay, or you felt like I feel like you are the third party to a situation that is where something is being wrong for, for, on the financial front. Something is is wrongfully being done to somebody that you know all right but you're not saying anything about it you you in turn are possibly even getting a cut from this okay but you 
you're not saying anything about it you feel um to the other person you feel that it you feel it's a secret but it's not for them the other person is highly intuitive all right because i look at the hermit i look at the hermit and i see the light the the other person really has the light above them and when i say the light i mean in terms of i use the term the light in terms of intuition they're highly intuitive um possibly a psychic okay they're highly highly intuitive kind of like the work that i do highly in, high intuition okay very high in between worlds close to the spirit world okay um you may feel like you're hiding something from this person um it could be a capricorn or a virgo but they already know what you're up to <laughs> They already know what you're up to. You're not really doing anything to hide f hide it from them. They see it. In fact, I feel like they've seen it up to about 10 months ago. I'm getting 10 months ago, okay? Which is interesting because the hermit... Um, the hermit is a 9. Alright? So they... 9, 10 months ago, okay? nine energy and this other this person that's highly intuitive their life path number is nine they're very which meaning that they're they're um legendary they're they have a very um very sociable they help other people all right they're psychic they do um uh spiritual work okay spiritual healer okay um they're highly 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 intuitive all right um their life path number could be a nine which that means that this is a nine card which it means that that's their um destiny number um uh, it means going they're able they have have the natural born ability to go above and beyond their dreams and i feel like that's something that you wanted them to do in the past as well but it looks like you're on the outskirts looking into what they're finally achieving maybe you found out that they got married okay you're finding out that they created some kind of union so that they can um hold on it but their union they were only able to make a certain amount of money of funds out of their union okay just a little bit of money and they're trying their best to hold on to it okay uh, and I feel like they're also person is looking for a more stable job, but you definitely have high hopes for this person. And I feel like a part of you is happy for them. You don't, you don't necessarily like everything that they do in terms of the kind of work that they do and who they're affiliated with, but you are very happy for them. Um, they're ascending. All right, I'm looking at the angel wings. They're ascending into um, a higher status in terms of their career or in terms of a relationship, okay? Or you could be doing that as well yourself, uh, ascending into a higher level of relationship, possibly um, marriage for yourself as well, or you know someone that got married. Or you're being proposed to. All right, somebody is proposing you proposing marriage to you, okay? And you're trying to be um I feel like you're stuck in between. This is say for example, say you're a female and a man is proposing to you, but you're attracted to a you're attract your close friend could be a Virgo, all right? This um or just someone who you're very worried about, you're very much in love with them. All right, you're very in love with them. You care about them. They could be your close friend. All right, um, but you have a relationship that's waiting for you. You just can't seem to get your mind off of uh, somebody from the past or a re an existing relationship that may not be really what it seems. Okay, I feel like um, it's not what it seems. It's gray. You know what I mean? You don't know gray meaning in between. You don't know what direction to go in with this relationship. So you're kind of having to um, ask others around you for advice. 
on what to do about this relationship, okay? Because the other person that you're dealing with, they kind of like, they kind of let life hang by the wayside, or they just let um, their emotions hang by the wayside, and you're kind of like in hermit mode, trying to figure out what to do next because this person isn't moving anywhere, okay? They're unavailable. All right. Um, I really like going. The lovers to me in your um, in your future is very important um, to me. In some cases, I may like feel like some of you may have it in the reverse because then you find out somebody cheated or you uh, cheated on someone or it's a cheating situation um, in terms of like you thought that you were gonna receive a certain amount of money and you and you didn't. All right, it could have been losing like you thought you were going to win the lottery, for example, and you didn't. All right, could it be casinos? You found out that somebody's parent went and go went to play big at a casino and they lost all their money and now they have to hang on to the little bit of money that they have left because they lost a huge amount of it already wasting it, okay? Or you just in general feel that someone is wasting uh their money on indulgences and things that they can't really afford right now okay they can't really afford it okay all right there libra that was your reading um i could go on for days with these messages please contact me via instant message on facebook if you have any questions or likes Please like, share, comment. If you have any questions, please contact me um, for personal reading. If you like how I read, okay. Um, without further ado, have a good day, Libra. See you later. Bye.